I apologize, y'all. We just went live. Yeah, we just went live, literally, right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let's get let, let's get ready to get started. Let's get a quick uh, prayer in. Spirit of living, y'all, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Hallelujah. Humbly as we know how. Ask you to show up, show up and show up. Do what only you can do. Send a relevant word to this here, your people, as we govern ourselves accordingly. We trust, believe, and thank you. In the master's name of Yahushua Hamashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all my 815-648. Teaching now and on Facebook Live. Just thought I'd share that right quick. I was going to try to Chromecast this joke. Oh, here, yeah, I can Chromecast it. Who are you I'm going to have to let you know. Family room. Welcome. Okay. Okay. Got it. Booyah. Let's see. See, I'll be able to Chromecast it downstairs to my TV in my house. Let the master use you. Baraka Shalom. Baraka Shalom. Okay. Uh-oh. I think I just, I don't know what I did, but I upset something. I need someone to tell me if it's working or not. I need someone to tell me before I start. Do you see me clear? Um, yeah. Okay, because on my screen, it is a mess. <laughs> I, I clicked uh, Chromecast, and it went bananas on my screen. So, Is it? Okay. Is it really delayed right now? But but is it working appropriately? That's all I need to know. Yes, sir, it is. Okay, well then. Well, yeah, well I'm finna get it in there. Alright, within its own. Let me let me let me kick it off then. Here we go. I want to thank everybody for chiming in. This is Watchman Yahoo to Israel, also known as Pastor Derek Mann on early what I see. Nope. On the evening scripture study on this 19th day in March um, 2018. We're going we're gonna to dive in. We did a, a lesson the other day called um, uh, Truth for Sale. So we're about to do a part two. Truth for Sale part two. Uh Let's go to Proverbs 23 and 23, and look what it say. Hallelujah. It says, uh, did I pray? I'm going to pray anyway, just in case I didn't. Spirit of living, y'all, we love you, and thank you for this opportunity to come before you. Come to your throne with boldness, making our petitions known, that we might obtain mercy and find unmerited favor to help in the time of need. This is the time we love you and love with you. Send a relevant word, a real truth to your children, that we may grow thereby. We're completely dependent on you, and we trust you, and we thank you. In the matchless name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we humbly pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and amen. Is the Chromecast working downstairs or no? Yeah, really? Is. Oh, yeah. that's cool. Yeah, on the, you're on the screen. I'm on the screen? Yeah. That's pretty big, huh? Uh-huh. All right, well, let's get it in. Um. Uh, Proverbs 23 and 23, look what it say. It says, By the truth. And sell it not. Also wisdom and instruction and understanding. Again, buy the truth and sell it not. Also wisdom, instruction, and understanding. Let's go here, y'all. Look, look at this. Um, let's deal with it. Uh, the, the, the word is teaching 
by, by the truth. Which goes in direct contrast to, you know, the normal, you know, for the lack of a better term, Christian teaching to tell you salvation is free. Who told you that? Who told you salvation is free? Just like, could have been the same person that told you, once saved, always saved. The, the same person that told you that we're only human and can't be perfect, even though the Messiah said, told the woman that was caught in adultery, go and sin no more. Or in Matthew 5 and 48, be perfect, even as your father, which is heaven, is perfect. Folks tell you, you can't stop sinning. The Messiah say, stop sinning. Folks tell you, you can't be perfect, but the Messiah say, uh, be perfect. Then folks will tell you that salvation is free. And the word teaches that, tells you to buy the truth and sell it not. It's going to cost you. It's going to cost you everything. You're going to have to sell out. Look at this. Let's go to uh, Matthews 19. Let's deal with it. Look what it say. He said, Behold, one came and said unto him, Good master, what things shall I do that I might have eternal life? And he answered and said unto him, Why callest thou me good? There's none good but one. And that's Elohim. That's Yah. But if thou wilt enter into life, keep the commandments. Here he said, if you're going to enter in life, in other words, eternal life. The young man walked up, so he already was living. He's talking about eternal life. He said, but if thou will enter into life, keep my commandments. Do what I say, right? And he said on him, which? Yahushua? Yahushua said, thou shalt do no murder. Thou shalt not commit adultery. Thou shalt not steal. Thou shalt not bear false witness. Thou shalt honor thy mother and thy father. And thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Those are the last six commandments of the Ten Commandments. And the last six of the Ten Commandments is dealing with your brother, your brothers and sisters. How to deal with humanity. And the young man said unto him, All these have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? And Yahushua said unto him, If thou wilt be perfect. Folks say you, you can't be perfect. We got to get away from this false doctrine state of mind, y'all, because the issue with this life right now is sin. The wrath of Yah is abiding on, 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 on the children of disobedience. This place is in an uproar for being disobedient to the Most High, and scriptural perfection is being mature in the things of Yah. Walking in obedience is walking in perfection. I will be perfect. Go and sell that thou hast and give it to the poor and thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Sell out. You can't withhold nothing. You got to sell out. In order to be saved, you got to have a state of mind that you're willing to buy the truth. And it, it costs you your life. See, the wages of sin is death. The wages of sin is death. The consequence of sin is death. But the solution for sin is death too. He turned the problem into the solution. He turned the, 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 the consequence into our very salvation. He did a reverse move. He took the eternal punishment, death, and gave it to us now that we can walk in the death of the Messiah because attached to his death is the resurrection leading to eternal life. Just like as, as the Messiah was raised up by the power of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. He took death and we're able to, to apply it to our lives now. The word teaches, right, is appointed unto a man once to die and then the judgment. And Peter, Cephas, you're right, teaches us that 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 judgment must first begin at the house of Yah. So judgment is beginning at the house of Yah because we're dead. It's important unto man once to die and then the judgment. We're being judged right now because we've been baptized into the death of the Messiah. Which means we purchase truth. Yahushua is the truth. He's the way, the truth, and the life. We purchase truth. He said, thy word is truth. 
We purchased truth, the truth of the word, the truth of the gospel. And we purchased it with our very lives. Like, it's, like he laid down his life, even so we should lay down our life. We were baptized into his death. Mortify the deeds of the flesh means to reckon yourself to be dead. A dead man cannot continue to walk in sin. When, you, when you're dead, you're done. You can't run around here sleeping with folks and cussing folks out. That, that party is over with. You, you, you're, you're done with. But let's, let, let's look at it, y'all. Romans 6. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that unmerited favor may abound? Yah forbid. How shall we that are dead? Here we go again. It's going to cost you your very life because you're supposed to be dead. You're literally giving up your life to, to, to trade it in for eternal life. It's going to cost you everything. How shall we that are dead? Why is the word calling us dead? How should we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Know ye not. Do you know this? That so many of us were baptized into Yahushua HaMashiach, was baptized into his death. Therefore we are buried with him by baptism into death. Then like as the Messiah was raised up from the dead, by the power of the Father, even so we should walk in the newness of life. For if we have been planted together in the likeness of his death, we shall also be in the likeness of his resurrection. Knowing this, you got to know, y'all, that our old man is killed, crucified with him, that the body of sin might be destroyed, that henceforth from now on we should not serve sin. Check the seventh verse out, y'all. For he that is dead is freed from sin. He that is dead is free. If, if I wasn't dead, I'd cuss you out. If I wasn't dead, I might sleep with you. If I wasn't dead, I might not support the ministry and give. I might not forgive. But I'm dead. I'm dead to the deeds of the flesh. I'm dead to who I used to be that I can rise up to walk in the newness of life. I'm now faced with a choice. <laughs> it's what's important to me. Where man treasure is, there will his heart be also. I'm, for, I'm faced with a choice. Either I'm going to choose to live this life or I'm going to choose to give up this life by the truth with life. I got to give up this life for eternal life. It's a choice. That's why he said choose. False doctrine would have you looking for a gospel that's minus your participation. Especially to the level of admitting that your participation is your literal death. Dying out to your evil nature. How you see things. Your desire. How you would handle it. You gave up that right when you accepted the Messiah into your life. A perfect example. Here we go again. You got a rich young ruler that come to the Messiah. Call him good master. Who don't do that? Who do not draw nigh unto him with their mouth and honor him with their lips? 98% of the people honor the most high with their mouth. Real talk. You run across some atheists every now and then, but the average person running around here got a verbal game. Not everyone lives up to the level that this kid did because he wanted to know what must he do to be saved. And he wasn't murdering, he wasn't committing adultery, he wasn't no thief, he wasn't bearing false witness. He honored his mother and his father. Some folks love their mama, can't stand their daddy. And some people love their daddy, can't stand their mama. This young man honored both mother and father, and he loved his neighbor as himself. The young man said, all these have I kept from my youth up. What lack I yet? Yahushua said on him, if thou will be perfect, go and sell all that I have. Sell out. Give it to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. Give up everything. Uh, in other words, give up everything and take up your, your torture stake and follow the most high. Folks ain't willing to do that. The average, 
That's why the that's why the word teaches that wide is the road that leads to destruction. Because the average person is not given too many people got a price. And they got a satanic doctrine that solidifies this. Let me tell you something. The belief system has been hijacked, and it was hijacked before you was born. There was a belief system that came in. So you got to remember that Yah's true children went into exile. They, they, they were kidnapped. They were shipped into slavery, and they were jacked for the books. Their books, their books was, was taken in 70 AD, hidden five miles long in the Vatican. And, and, and the game was changed, and the, and the scriptures was transliterated from Hebrew into other languages. And you had some folks with an ulterior motive that came with a whole nother religion, with a whole nother set of, uh, uh, of so-called uh, 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 holidays. Word teachers call no man father. They got, they got this joker that they called him father. Folks bowing down, kissing his ring. Uh, um, uh, 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 Revelation speaks of it well, you know. The, 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 the mystery Babylonian whore that got the whole world drunk on the wine of her fornication. And drunk is under influence. Wine is her teaching. Fornication is her, her fornicating, cheating on Yah practices. See, her terms and her holidays and what she stand for. It's the same. It's fornication. It's it's, a, it's idolatry. It's spiritual adultery against the Most High. What she stands for, what she teaches, comes directly from the the snake. You shall not surely die. It's the incorporation of all kind of pagan pagan uh, 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 belief systems, all mixed up in one. And even the terms that 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 people uh, uh, use associated with it are, are terms of endearment as far as we're concerned because we was born into this thing. And the folks that transliterated the word use these terms in the book all the way down to Hades. What is Hades doing in scripture when that's Zeus' brother? Look it up. That's Zeus' brother, the, 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 the devilish spirit of the under, underworld. But it's in scripture. Easter is pagan. Said, look up the origin of it. It's really Easter. Well, it's really Easter. We think Easter is different, but it's really pronounced Easter. But that's paganism. That that that's that's a uh, Tammuz mama, Nimrod's uh, mama wife. Uh, 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 she supposed to be the egg, but the 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 the, the goddess of fertility. But but that, that's all pagan. But it's in scripture because the belief system has been hijacked. That's why you got to be the type of person that's willing to study to show yourself approved and willing to die out to oneself to get a true relationship. You got to get away from religion and get into true relationship. Look up Jesus in uh in 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 in, in uh um Latin because because English actually is a derivative of Latin anyway, but 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 in Greek is 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 Hesu because the S on Hesu is silent. In the male's name. And then when you transliterate it into, into Latin, it's Jesus. And you just take off the I and put on the J, and then you got Jesus. You look up Jesus in Latin, and it means earth, G, a geographical, earth, Zeus, pigs, uh, 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 sow, swine, earth pig, abomination of desolation. And folks get so caught up in religion, they're not searching for... Uh, of the origin of word. When, when, when you out in the streets and you hustling and you stealing and you sleeping around and you gangstering and you acting a fool and someone bring you the gospel in the name of Jesus and, and your life changed, I, I understand where, 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 where your reverence come from. And, and I also now understand uh, Psalms 130 and 2 say that Yah exalts his word over his name. When you when you have reverence to what he say, he can still save you. But when he start revealing more truth, we got to be the type that don't love nothing to nobody over truth. You can't. You don't want to. You don't want to be religious. You want to have a true relationship so you can evolve. Saul had a relationship with the Most High, but it was an error. He he superseded all of his peers in 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 in, in uh uh. In the, in the Torah. But he was wrong. He was going against the Messiah. 
until, until the word knocked him off his donkey on that road to Damascus. And then the word shined on him. Then he ended up with scales on his eyes, which represented his spiritual blindness. And when Ananias came down to pray for him, the scales fell off and more truth was revealed unto him because he asked the, the Mashiach, who art thou? He said, I'm Yahushua, whom you are, who you're persecuting. And he went on to start preaching against the, what, what, what he was establishing. He now was on the opposite team, which was the real team. Because when truth comes, you got to be responsible for it. That's why the word says, by the truth, not religion. Not what you was taught. You was born in this thing. We living in the last days where they call evil good. And good evil has been a reverse. Start preaching against these sexual perversions just jumping off out here. You got a phobia. You got a sickness. There's something wrong with you. They're calling evil good and good evil. So the cartoons and, and the music, everything is satanic and sexual seances and and, 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 and demonic possessions, all these video games and all this satanic stuff that's going on right up under our nose. Somebody getting ready for Easter now. Somebody getting ready. Somebody did Christmas cutting down tree. The word said don't cut down no doggone tree and fast and then decorate the joker. But folks is so, so, so spiritually twisted that their discernment is gone. Folks don't do what the words say, they caught up in, 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 in having a form of yolliness denying the power thereof. <laughs> the young man was a good dude, so it appeared. He wasn't going against nobody. But when it came time for him to sell out, you got to sell out. You got to get away from the deeds of the flesh. You got to sell out. You got to bow down the truth. Not only from a theological standpoint, but from a personal standpoint. You got to mortify the deeds. The flesh. In order to live this life, it's going to cost you everything. Husbands got a way they got to act. Wives got a way they got to act. Children got a way they got to act. Deacons and preachers got a way they got to act. And we got to study to show ourselves to prove. We need to be searching the scripture for in them. We think we have eternal life. Got to get away from paganism. <laughs> Nehemiah and them searching the scriptures, uh, 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 found out, uh, uh, you know, trying to recover from the dark ages. When y'all start talking to mankind, they go in and they find the scriptures and scrolls and, and, and they're reestablished, they're tearing down false doctrine altars and all that to reestablish the things of Yah. We think that it evolved and turned evil since we've been living. No, you were born into some stuff that you thought was good. Your grandmama thought it was good. Her great grandma thought it was good. And we got saying it's like it was good for them, it was good for it was good for them, it's good for us. The devil is a lie. Y'all is still more truth and you gotta be type of person that's actually lazy. You ain't lazy when it comes to your money. You ain't lazy when it comes to your honey. You ain't lazy when it comes to what's important to you. Why are you lazy when it comes to the things in your soul? Why are you not studying to show yourself approved? Why are you not searching the scriptures for in them you think you have eternal life? 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21 says, prove all things and then hold fast to that which is good. After it's proven, then hold fast to it. We get pastor salvation. The cross, that's the T symbol. Why don't you look up cross the origin of it and find out it's, he said, well, if you study, you find out he was hung on a tree. Curses the man that hangeth on the tree. It was a tree. He was on, it was a post. It was a beam. It was a tree. It was not a T-symbol. He was not born on, 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 on December 25th. That was Tammuz, the T-symbol, the cross symbol. That was Tammuz's birthday. Some satanic stuff. And folks got an attitude like it don't matter. No, you've been deceived. And you don't want to go through the persecution that it takes to stand with truth. You you the type of person that's a man please. You roll with the crowd. You got a paying gig. You sell records. You sell records. You're trying to be famous off Jesus' name. So you can't, you got too many rap records out right now. You you done finally made the head deacon. You got the little plaque and the little gold. You got your name carved on the little plaque on your little, <laughs> on your little black and white suits you finally got. For religious, 
becoming a form of godliness, denying the power thereof. We need to be going down in sackcloth and ash, ashes because that's evil. Deacons sleep with everybody, pastors sleep with everybody, folks switch hidden. Uh, 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 men is women, women is men. Everybody rubbing and freaky part pornographies everywhere. The prince of the air and hijacked this joker, but he did it before you was born. You, you, you're growing into the Catholicism. Uh, the, the term Christos Christian came from a whole nother Mithra religion, of Egyptology and Greek mythology. Christian, huh? They were first called Christian in, in the scripture time in Antioch, but even come on, somebody. But when when, when, when Serapis uh, conquered uh, Egypt, made himself a pharaoh, which was a, a, a god back then. He mixed Greek mythology and Egyptology so he can bring merge the two religions together, and came up with a, a, a religious belief. And the and the subject was called bishops. The same bishops at the Council of Nicaea working with Constantine. Bringing in that religion and all the occultic practices. Uh, Israel got caught up in, in, in those uh, 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 practices. That's why in the book of Acts, when they, when, when they was going, uh, when, when it talked about them going through the wilderness and they made a calf, uh, they got that from Egypt. Moloch, they got that from Egypt because that was, that was that same religious mess that they got caught up. Caught up in that stuff today. Astrology. Folks getting their palms red. Want to know what their zodiac is. All this paganism going on. Because that's Catholicism. It's the mixture of all that mess put together. Isaiah 65, 11, and 12 talks about God. It's spelled G-A-D. Yah was going to kill Israel for setting a table before a, 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 a God. And setting a, a table before many. Astrology. Sun God worship and, 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 and moon God worship. And it's all right there in Isaiah 65 and 11, but you got to study. 11 and 12, but you got to study. Took Yah's name out of scripture and replaced it with a, a Babylonian a deity's name. So, so, so worldwide, he's called God. But folks are so used to that, they don't want to go through no persecution to say, quit calling him God. You talking about being on a narrow road? You on a narrow road if you tell folks, quit calling him God. They're going to be like, what's wrong with you? I've been studying what's wrong with you. you religious. You have a form of yalliness. And if you start saying that, what are they going to do? Put you out your little church? Church, by definition, means pagan assembly. What they did, they killed the man. That, that, that was in transliteration. He was going against when this, in, the, in the history, when, when the history of the assembly was being put together in the book of Acts. <coughs> Everywhere King James switched, everywhere the people of Yah was assembling, he put church because that was a pagan assembly. And then where he just put assembly is where the devil's people was, was assembling, which should, they should have been the church. But when you don't study, you don't know stuff like that. So when you look at the Roman Catholic Church, that term within itself is satanic, but now we've adopted as a term of endearment. So when we say church, oh, we have church. We think we come together in Yah's name. No, we're coming together in God's name because God is a Babylonian deity that's on the back of the money. And God we trust with the pyramid on there and the all-seeing eye of, 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 of Tammuz. <laughs> But you don't know that, but you got some money with that on, in your pocket. And, and, and folks are worshiping, uh, uh, he's talking about mammon. Look at what mammon is. Look at mammon. Say, you, you cannot serve Yah and mammon. Well, they put a switch on you. God is the Babylonian deity and mammon is one of his buddies. Because if you look up mammon, that's some more Greek mythology. <laughs> some more mess that they put inside of the word. That's why you got to be the type of person that study. You got to be the type of person that buy the truth and sell it not. Like 1 Thessalonians 5 and 21 say. Just prove all things, right? You got to be the type of person that study and then once you prove it, hold fast to that prove it. it's going to be hard to hold on to it if you're a sellout.
If you're a man pleaser, if you're trying to get along and sell some records, if you're trying to get along with everybody and get everybody to your website and trying to get a bunch of likes and try to get along with folks, I'm not trying to get along with nobody but y'all. I'm not going to leave this pagan uh, uh, system of satanic uh, Easter and Christmas and, and, and Valentine's Day. I'm not, I'm not leaving uh, 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 New Year's and, 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 and uh, uh, Halloween. I'm not leaving that to go up under the law either. <laughs> to go back to feast days and festivals, which was but a shadow of coming up. <laughs> Are you now made perfect in the flesh, O oh, foolish Galatians, who have bewitched you that you should not obey the truth? You got to be the type of person that buy the truth and sell, and sell it not. You don't want to get caught up in none of this religious stuff. You need a true relationship for you to walk away from sin. Talking about uh, 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 Sabbath, uh, uh, Sabbath worship. The Messiah is the Sabbath. <laughs> He's the end of the law to them that believe. Uh, he said, come on to me, all ye labor, heavy laden, and I'll give you rest. You'll find rest onto your souls. You need some rest from your soul, and it ain't from mopping on the, on the Sabbath day. It ain't, it ain't from cleaning your house on the Sabbath day. It ain't from doing good and helping folks. All these religious folks, Messiah going around trying to heal some folks. They mad at him because he healed them on the Sabbath. They was jealous, they was haters, and they was religious. And they had a form of yawliness but were denying the power thereof. And then you go to the extreme, then you got these satanic Gentiles running around here up under this, 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 this uh, 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 talking about it don't matter. They got the spirit of it don't matter like the table of Yah. Well, in Malachi 1, he told the priest, I got a problem with you. He said, what do we do? He said, you say that the table of Yah is contemptible, changeable, ultimate. It don't matter. When they was building the tabernacle, them jokers couldn't do nothing. He didn't ask them nothing. They couldn't have an opinion. They had to put the articles where they go. They had to have the right screws, the right size, the right uh, color, the right the, the right fabric. They had, they had to do everything exactly down to a letter. Exactly like the tabernacle was, which was, was a shadow of the body of the Mashiach, of, of Yah being tabernacle with man. And he didn't ask us nothing. You got folks going around naming, naming the so-called church. You can name the church because church by definition is satanic as heck. But you can't name the body of Yah. The Yah body, uh, the, 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 the body was born with a name that's above every name. And at his name, every knee shall bow and every tongue shall confess. And that all the family in heaven and earth is called by that name. And neither is there salvation in any other, for there's none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. And what's what we do in word or deed, do all in that name, give thanks to Yah the Father by him. It's the greatest name in this world and, and also in the world to come. Come on, somebody. But we get so caught up in religion and believing folks in their dreams and we get caught up in folks being religious and, and trusting man and get caught up in these organizations and following their oracles. We can't be perfect. Let man tell it. Uh, we're only human and, and you can't stop sinning. What you mean I can't stop? I can't stop being disobedient to y'all. I got to sleep with them. I got to fight. I got to cuss. I got to lie. I got to smoke the cigarette. I got to get drunk. I got to get high. I got to backbite. I got to be two-faced. I can't be faithful. I can't be faithful to my spouse. I can be faithful to my children. I can be faithful to y'all. I can be stingy. I ain't got to give. I ain't got to do nothing but be uh, evil and just give it all to Jesus because Jesus did it all on a doggone pagan cross. Are you kidding me right now? What you need to do is buy the truth. <laughs> oh, that's truth for sale. Don't get it twisted. He said, buy the truth. Proverbs 23 and 20 say, buy the truth. How important is the truth to you? It's going to cost you something. It's going to cost you your friendship. He said, how can two walk together except they be agreed? He said, I didn't come to bring peace. I came to bring a sword. I came to divide mother from father and, 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 and father from son and, and, and mother and mother in law from daughter in law. The word is going to come that's going to divide the ghost from the sheep. How how can two walk together except to be greed? And what fellowship is light with darkness? The word is gonna come and separate. Gonna separate religious folks from real folk. Gonna separate sheep uh, from goats. It's gonna separate them loud talking, record making, fame seeking, loud mouths that's running around here that don't that's not submissive to truth. 
calling him a trinity. He ain't never called himself a trinity. But the biggest part of Christianity, they named it right, Christos. The, the Christianity is the fact that he's a triune, the holy trinity they call it. Holy is right too, because if you look up holy, <laughs> you, you, you'll find some more stuff. But they call it the holy trinity when the biggest commandment in the world is zero is that God is one. But now all of a sudden he's three. So God, the Council of Nicaea, the Nicaean Creed say he's God the Father, God the Son, and God uh, the Holy Ghost. Come on, somebody. Them terms. Them terms and the false doctrine that folks is caught up in. Uh, he said, go ye therefore teach our nation, baptize them in the name. Singular. What? No S-O name. Uh, but baptize them in the name of the Father, belong to the Father, and of the Son, and of the Ruach HaKadet, of the Spirit of Yah. And they number one name that fits all three of those titles. Because it ain't number one Elohim and his name is Yah. Hallelujah. Praise ye Yah. Yahusha. Yah is salvation. He found fashion as a man. He came to see about you. Didn't Isaiah try to tell you? He tried to tell you in Isaiah 9 and 6. For unto us a child is born. Unto us a son is given. And government shall be upon his shoulder, and his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor, the Mighty Yah, the Everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. You mean to tell me he's the Everlasting Father? The Everlasting Father? Not only is he the Father, but the Everlasting Father and the Prince of Peace? You mean to tell me the Father became a priest? A prince? The Father became the Son? Yeah, when the Father, which is the Spirit, Yah's the Spirit, and they the worship it, must work with pure fruit. When the Spirit of Yah was born in a virgin. It was the Ruach HaKadosh, the spirit of Yah that overshadowed God and pregnant in the first place. The Ruach HaKadosh is the father. <coughs> he the one got her pregnant. But that's okay because Ephesians 4 said ain't nothing but one Ruach. Ain't nothing but one uh, uh, spirit. <laughs> Who's the father of all, above us all, through us all, and in us all. But you let this Catholicism, you let this false doctrine, you let them disrespect Pope talking against the Messiah. You read their creeds, they talk against uh, the Messiah. <laughs> but we think that that, 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 that is what some do. All them practices, all them statues they got. He said, don't make no graven image. They got graven images, they got statues, you can bow down, they got a rosary, you can pray to Mary. When Mary was looking for the Messiah, he was up there, who is my mother, my father, but he to do the will of my father? He's talking about my mother out there, who, who obey me. He ain't, he ain't never prayed to her. He ain't never told none of his disciples to pray to her. Got jokers running around praying to Mother Mary. Are you kidding me? Mary had to be saved just like everybody else. <laughs> uh, but, but all this Catholicism, all this fake religion, all this satanic stuff going on. Folks got a live and let live attitude. <laughs> oh, come on, somebody. I got a phobia because because, because y'all said it was wrong. S a sexual perverts running around here. Now everybody getting it in. Ped pedophilia is, a, is, is acceptable now. Everybody, bestiality. Puppies is real looking puffy and cute right now. Cute little puppy. <laughs> for, for, for everybody getting it in now because they're calling good evil and evil good and ain't nobody willing to go against the grain. He says, save yourself from this untoward generation and this untoward generation of church folks. Camp folk. Folk don't want to bow down the truth. Think serving y'all is a doggone dietary meal. Are you kidding me right now? It's not that which goes into a mouth that of the father, the man that which comes out. Adulteries and fornications and lying and, and hypocrisies that come out of the heart. In Israel, in their land of captivity, you'd be lucky to eat anything. Now you better bless it because if you eat any deadly thing, he said he's going to bless you. He, 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 he going he to save you from it. You drink or eat any deadly thing. Yeah, yeah your diet has changed highly. truth for selling not all these pagan sin but see you caught in routine it's hard even though you might agree with the truth i preach you're gonna go to one of them fake churches too though <clears throat> you, you'll say amen <laughs> i'm in raw <laughs> it was all main not a man a 
A M E N is Amen Ra. They touched the book, they touched the truth, they twisted the gang. They added stuff. They added to the word, they took away. They switched some stuff up, and we got to be the type to study. It ain't it ain't what it seemed, y'all. That's why we gotta buy the truth. And it's gonna cost you your life, folks talking about uh, salvation is free. Okay. I was alluding to it the last time in By the Truth uh, Part 1, but y'all sent me back to hit it harder. Who in the heck said salvation is free in the first place? It's going to cost you your life. It's going to cost you your lust. It's going to cost you the way you used to do things. It's going to cost you your fake religion. It might cost you your pastor and your friends. It's going to cost you, it's going to cost you, you're going to have to die in order to live. The wage of sin is death. You either going to die now or die later. That rich young ruler, look what happened to him. He came to him. He was a good dude, wasn't he? <clears throat> what lack I, he said. Yahushua said to him, if thou would be perfect, go and sell and give it to the poor. And thou shalt have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. And when the young man heard this saying, he went away sorrowful for he had great possession. Y'all heard that? He said no. You know how many people say no? But they're not as honest as he was. See, he was integral. He was lost. He made the wrong decision. But he was integral. At least he was honest. You got folks that wouldn't walk away. They just ain't going to do it. They would have told him, okay. But they just ain't going to do it. They still going to hop in the bed. They still going to smoke it. They still going to drink it. They still on drugs. They still don't give. They still don't forgive. They still ain't going to show up. The words say not forsaken the sibling of ourselves together. They ain't coming. <laughs> the word teaches that it's Yah the one that's a uh, uh, supply the, the seed to the sower. So if you never give what he ain't never supplied you with a seed, who you lying to? You might not be living in abundance, but even the widow gave. The widow might, y'all remember that? Yahushua said she gave more than all them jokers. Some folks just ain't gonna give. They're gonna give to a woman and a man. They're going to give to the dope man. They're going to give, they're going to tip the bus boy and the, and the, and the, and the person at the restaurant because they appreciate a carnal food and carnal service more than they do the word of Yah. Real law. They come up with excuses. Religious. You, when you're religious, it just, you reek it. You talk that good game, but you, you're not going to live it. You're going to talk. They draw an honor me with their mouth. Honor me with their lips, with their hearts. No, it ain't going to happen. <clears throat> Romans 8 chapter say they that are of flesh do mind things of the flesh and they that are the spirit the things of the spirit when you fleshly you can say what you want your actions is going to say, tell what's, what, what type of tree you are you shall know every tree by the fruit it bear and we got to get to the point that we're a good tree that we literally can live it that we literally can give to the poor that we literally, literally can support ministry that we literally can show up even when we don't feel like it we can do what y'all tell us to do even when we don't feel like it because they that are after the flesh do buy things of the flesh. When a, a person is fleshly, they're going to vacation. They're going to eat. They're going to break their fast or they ain't going on a fast at all. They're going to sleep with them and make excuses. They're going to miss service. They're not going to show up. They're going to hold a grudge. They're going to have a good reason to do it. But they're going to sing you under the table. <laughs> they're going to bless their food. <laughs> and they're going to have a big church hat. They're going to grow a beard, and they're going to have on some doggone fringes. <laughs> but they're uh -uh. they not going to be spiritual. They're not going to live it. The word says, buy the truth. It's going to cost you. How much? Everything. you a liar, it's going to cost you. you horny, it's going to cost you. you selfish, it's going to cost you. you like being the life of the party, it's going to cost you. You're afraid of being alone? It's going to cost you. Because in this race, when you're living it, you're going to be alone sometime. Folks going to turn their back on you. Folks ain't going to agree with your ministry. It could be your mama. It could be your children. It could be your spouse. Be your best friend. Everyone is not navigating toward truth. Stephen Darby, I wasn't a big fan of his at first, but now I listen to him. I respect that brother. A whole lot. And I looked at the pews when he was preaching. That little joint was empty. He had about, what, 15 people up in there. 
but he going viral as heck because he stood for truth. Now he dead. I don't know what they did to him. But he sure was telling the truth. <laughs> he was telling the truth. I, I know he heard the words, well done, thy good and faithful servant, enter into uh, 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 the joy of the most high. <laughs> I bet you that. You got to be the type of You can't be a man pleaser. You can't be in the crowds. These religious folks running around here running their mouth. You can't get it caught up into that. You see them little religious folks, you love them. Continue to tell them the truth, irregardless. Rebuke their false doctrine and do it moving. Tell the truth. Prove all things. Hold fast that which is good. Because those that belong to Yah, when you prove it, they're going to go search the scriptures for in them they think they have eternal life. Or they're going to go search the scriptures to see if those things be so. And if they're so and they really love Yah, they're going to hold on to the truth. And the truth is going to snatch you away from the crowd. You ain't going to be liked like you is. You're going to lose some folks. You're going to lose some likes. You're going to lose some friends. Facebook and in person. When you stand with truth. You got to be the type of person like truth more. You like anything or anybody is the truth anyhow. Y'all look what it say. Luke 14, 26. The Messiah said, If any man come to me and hate not father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yea, even his own life also, he cannot be my life. If you favor a father, mother, wife, children, brothers, sisters, yea, your own life over him, you can be his disciple because Jesus did it all, right? You can be his disciple because once they've always said you can't lose it. You got it on lock, right? That's why you need to get away from them devils. They preaching what the saint, what the serpent preached. You should not surely die. Devil, mankind died. Been dying ever since. You's a liar. You the father of it. You still lying. And these jokers running around preaching it. Transform themselves into the ministers of righteousness. They work for the devil. If any man come to me and hate not and this hate if you look it up, it means prefer more. If you prefer your father more than Yah, you're done. Mother more than Yah, you're done. Wife more than Yah, you're done. Yes, dear. <laughs> yeah, we're going to go to Easter, okay, this Sunday. I was studying that it's pagan, though. Okay, we'll go. Wife, children, brother and sister, yeah, even his own wife. He be my disciple. It's going to cost you, baby. Uh, truth for sale. You hear me? It's going to cost you. But you'll pay it if you belong to him. His sheep hear his voice. Whosoever does not bear his torture stake. You know they slipped the cross in there. Look it up, y'all. Look up the origin of the cross. Whosoever does not bear his cross and come after me cannot be my disciple. If you do not bear your torture stake, the tree he hung on, if you're not willing to suffer, to go through the grave, to deny yourself, you can't be his disciple. You're going to end up at the club. You're going to end up drunk. You're going to cuss him out. You're going to hold the grudge. You're going to be messy as heck. You're going to be funny style, coming and going. You ain't going to know which way is up because sin is deceitful. Sin is the problem. Yahusha is the antidote to the problem. But the devil then, then uh, slipped in and, and, and pretending to be Yahusha. Pretending to be righteous. He took his theology and his life position, which is pure evil, and made it good. Telling you, if you tell folks the truth, you hating on them. You got a phobia. You're the one with the problem if you stand for truth. Jokers didn't flip the doggone bathrooms so it's, uh, everybody can go up in that joker. Your child up in there and some pervert walk up in there and molest and rape your child with your dumb butt. And you talking about leave him alone. You talking about everybody got their rights and they ain't hurting nobody. Well, look what you didn't did with your silly self because you because you won't submit to the most high and your discernment is dead as that because you're too drunk and high and Jesus did it all. You got no responsibility for rights. You can't suffer and tell them you devil, you's a devil. You're talking about all gender. You got kids. What are you doing? Oh, so doggone freaky and horny. Twist it up. Fall in love. Are you serious right now? Pretty soon folks going to want to go to bed with their mama. <laughs> go.
go to bed with their parents, brothers and sisters hopping in the bed, twisted. Get a, a goldfish, get a little bit too big, a little shiny. Joker's putting on a little, <laughs> little swim gear trying to get up in the tank with him. <laughs> Whosoever does not bear his torture stake, it's going to cost you. You got to buy the truth, y'all, and sell it not. You a sell out? Have you ever bought the truth and then sold it for a woman? For a man to get high, change your mind, took your life back? Did a false doctrine help you take it back? False doctrine told you you had it on lock so you can take it back because you're only human? Whosoever does not bear his torture stake, if you don't suffer with him, you ain't going to reign with him. And he that has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin. It's going to cost you to stop sinning. You ain't no alien because you desire to sin. You might be freaky. You might got a freaky problem. You better keep your freaky self up in the word. You better meditate in the word both day and night. You better stay out that dog on strip club. You better stop getting drunk and high. You better submit. You better surrender to Yah. You better not put your mind. You, come on, family first. Are you kidding me? <laughs> your, your, your family ain't got a heaven to hell to put you in. And families turn on folks all the time. Family killing family. Please, family first. Yah first. The, fam the house of prayer first. The people of Yah first. Those that are new creatures, a new creation. Those that are baptized into his body and members in particular working together for kingdom building. So if you prefer your father, your mother, your wife, children, brothers, sisters, Jay, your own life over him, you can't follow him because your flesh ain't going to let you. Your mama ain't going to let you. Your daddy ain't going to let you. You're too in love with him, your wife. She's going to have you in false doctrine all over the place. You're going to be one day with Yah, the next day you back with Jesus. Messing with your wife. <laughs> Messing with your crazy children. Casper the Fruity Ghost kids running around here. <clears throat> Allergic to the truth. <laughs> you better stick with truth. Pray for them little crazy jokers and stick with the truth. Don't you? Don't you? Please. Children, brother, sister. Huh. Yeah, even your own life. You get sideways. There's a way to seem right unto a man, but the end of the ways of death. You better leave yourself alone. You better acknowledge him in all your ways and let him direct your path. You better search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life. You better submit. Keep your flesh in control. Keep your little, little religious self in check until he come get us. Keep your flesh in check. You ain't no alien because you get tempted, but blesses the man that endures temptation. You better hang in there. Grit your teeth and hang in there. You're getting freaky. Go take a cold shower. Come out. Quote some scriptures and sing. Because you can't be his disciple if you get caught up in any of this. Come on, y'all. I'm almost done. But buy the truth. It's going to cost you. Salvation ain't free. It's going to cost you everything you got. Didn't he tell him? Sell everything you got. Give it to the poor. And that ain't enough. Then take up your torture stake and follow me. You want to be saved? It's going to cost you. Because you're scandalous as heck anyway. All of sin to come short. You know you're out of pocket. Didn't you do it? Who want to tell what they did and don't nobody know? Their spouse don't know. Their husband don't know. Your mama don't know. That little freaky person you did it with know, unless it was an animal. He can't talk. He can't tell on your behind, but he sure be looking at you funny. Repent. And it's going to cost you to do it too. Buy the truth. It's going to cost you. Mm -hmm. That little fake church you go to. It's going to cost you. If you buy the truth, you're going to have to leave. I ain't leaving my church. <laughs> then don't. Saul who left his. You don't. I pray you do. If they're getting ready for Easter. Spirit of living Yah, we love you and thank you for this opportunity to come before you humbly so we know how. Praying that your word went forth with clarity, falling down the souls of your children, speak up an everlasting life. If the truth hits you, just say, ouch. Um, we love you. We ready to die out to who or we were to become who we should be. Um, the truth costs. <laughs> and not everybody's willing to pay it. Uh, Esau sold his soul for a doggone bowl of food. Uh, We're we, we not going out like that. Uh, we love you. Continue to keep us by your word. 
continue to transform us by renewing our mind that we may prove what's good and acceptable in your perfect will. Uh, you wrote our name in the Lamb's Book of Life. We ask you to guard until we see your face in peace. And we trust, believe, and thank you. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah, hallelujah, and all may. Conference recording. Stop. <clears throat> Conference unmuted. That was the lesson for the day. We pray that the word found you and knocked the devil out of you. <laughs> if uh, you want to talk, Feel free, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Again, 302-202-1102, extension 815-648. Love to talk to you, because I love you. And more importantly, y'all yeah, do, too. You be Baruch and Barakashalom.